Welcome to this tutorial on assessing the performance of photoplethysmogram or PPG beat detectors. In this tutorial, we'll assess the performance of several beat detectors on a single data set of PPG and reference ECG signals. In a previous tutorial, we've looked at how to run a beat detector algorithm, and on a future tutorial, we'll look at how to assess performance across multiple data sets. So, assessing performance on a single data set. We'll be referring to the instructions at this website here. So let's go there now. ppg-beats.readthedocs.io And we'll open the tutorial on performance assessment, where we'll use this first tutorial on assessing performance on a single data set. The first step is to install the toolbox of algorithms. I'll assume that you've done that, but if not, there are instructions here for doing so. The second step is to download a dataset on which to assess the performance of the beat detectors. For this, we'll be using a truncated version of a much larger dataset, uh, which uh, I've chosen the truncated version simply to make the demonstration quicker. So let's download that here. And then we'll be using this script to run the analysis using these commands here. So in the first command, we tell the script where to find the data set. So let's find the data set. It's stored in this downloads folder that I have. And then copy the file path, which we'll paste in here. So this is the location of the data file on my computer. And then the second line of code uh, runs the script. So we'll copy that. And you can see it tells the script the name of the data set. And then it specifies where the file is stored in this options variable. So let's run that. And it gives a readout telling us what it's doing at each stage of the analysis. So you can see it's made a directory in which to store the results in this first line, loaded the data, and then started detecting beats in PPG signals, going through each subject in turn, and for each subject, going through each of the beat detectors. So here we have a set of seven beat detectors. It'll continue doing this for each subject and will rejoin once it's uh, nearing the end of that analysis. So it's now detecting beats in the final subject's PPG signals. The next step, uh, assessing quality, we can ignore that for the moment, and then detecting beats in ECG signals to act as a reference. It's done that quickly. And now it's aligning the times of beats detected in PPG and ECG signals. The reason for this is that the signals might not be precisely synchronized in a data set, so there's a need to align them in order to compare the beats detected in the PPG to the reference beats in an ECG signal. So it's doing that for each subject and will rejoin once it finishes. So it's about to finish uh, aligning the times of beats in the 10 subjects. So now we're ready to um, assess the performance of beat detectors. So it's assessing performance on each subject, and then it's calculated some summary statistics and generated some results tables. And we'll have a look at the key table. Everything is stored in this new folder starting proc data. You can see there are files for each subject, and then there are these summary files at the bottom. So let's open these statistics. So here we have the results stored in this res variable. And looking at this table, we can see the results for each beat detector in the strategy column. We can ignore this qual common at the moment. The 
median and interquartile range duration of data used in the analysis. So here each subject had 10 minutes, i.e. 600 seconds worth of data. And then the uh, median and interquartile range for a host of other statistics. So the duration of DPG signals, the duration of ECG signals that were used in the analysis after excluding low quality data, uh, the duration for which they overlapped, i.e. for which we could assess beat detector performance because we could use both the PPG and ECG signal, the number of beats within this time period, and then some performance metrics, so the sensitivity, positive predictive value, and F1 score of each beat detector. And you'll see that in this table, the beat detectors are ordered from high to low F1 score. There are several other statistics which I'll document in the documentation, uh, but for now, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to assess the performance of beat detectors on a single data set. For further details, see this website below. Thank you.